how do you replace a heel? Um, it's a very simple process. As you know, all Martinez tools have interchangeable parts and replaceable parts. So that if one part wears out, you have another part that you can substitute for it or buy or however you want to work it or you're, you're tired of this one, you, you want a different color, uh, whatever reason, you're not locked into buying a whole new tool. You can buy a new heel and change it out, very simple. Or if you have a dropped it and you did something to it for some reason and you wanted to put a new heel or you wanted a new level vial because you didn't feel the one you had currently was that accurate, well, I'm gonna show you how to do that, okay? But um, as you see, the heels come in two different parts. Very simple, very straightforward. And they come with <coughs> a small bag of parts. And in this small bag of parts, you're gonna find four screws like this. But if you open up this heel and you look in there, you'll see two small holes, half holes right here on each side. And what that is, is there's a little neoprene ball bearing that drops inside those little holes right there. You really want to watch when you're handling this, <laughs> this little replacement kit that you keep track of these little rubber balls. It's really important because without them, your level bubble is not going to work. Okay? So what those little balls are there for is they help hold the level vial in position and lock it in without squeezing it between two pieces of metal and cracking it and all the fluid leaking out. So that adds a cushion and you're able to put it together and press it together, you know, where that level vial goes and voila, that's how it goes. So again, you have the two rubber balls that go in there the level vial, and then simply all you have to do is put your square together like this, put it in there, goes in there real nice and clean, that drops in between, just like that, and then you simply take, drop that one on top, and you'll find it just slot right in there. It'll have a little bit of a pinch factor, but not much, just a few thousandths. And then you drop the screws in, put the, the four screws in real easy, and kind of like tightening the heads on a car. You don't want to tighten them all up out of sequence. You want to try and squeeze that down in there as uniform as you can. So then after you do the two outer edges, you come to these interiors and you snug those down or you just tighten them up a little bit and then do the same sequence. Come back and do the same sequence and do like a, uh, you know, like a half a turn there. Come over here, do a half a turn. Then come over here, do a half a turn. Over here and do a half a turn or yeah, about a half a turn, then come over. That one's locked down. That one's locked down. And that one's locked down. And that one's locked down. And that's how simple it is to change a heel.